Frankie. Frankie, dude. Frankie, dude. It's Rob, not Frankie. Oh, well, I don't know a Rob, so... Look, I was gonna rob your house. I'm sorry about this whole thing. What? Why are you in my bathroom? I got scared. I keep thinking I'm gonna blow this. I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, great. Just my luck. I guess I'm just some good-for-nothing thief, and that's all I'll ever be. Thought I was gonna make something of myself in this world, but I guess I'm just for the birds, baby. Sounds like you're doubting yourself. Why wouldn't I? I'm a failure. You made it this far. That's gotta mean something. You really think so? Yeah. I do. And you're not mad at me? No, not at all. What if everyone makes fun of me, though? You have to trust me. <sighs> you wanna go talk? So, you're not gonna call the cops on me? Oh, no, don't worry. I know why you're here. My jewels. Yeah. Lots of people want to take them, and for good reason too. They're worth so much fucking money, man. Any financial problem you might have, gone. Hey, thanks for being so understanding. There is a reason why I was going to steal all of your jewels, you know? It's not for the love of the game? Well, you know I'm a player, but no. It's my daughter. She's terribly ill. I mean, she's been going to the doctor, but pretty soon I won't be able to afford the visits. Yeah, man. That really sucks. She might die if she doesn't get the treatment she needs, but God, it's so much money. Money I don't have. No, I hear that. That's terrible, man. I... Do you know what time it is? After midnight? Oh, Frankie's been asleep all day. We got a flight to catch. A flight? To LA. I'm performing on the Golden Voice. The talent competition that picks all the next big stars? The one and only, but keep your voice down. I gotta get my things together before Frankie... Ugh, I'm not ready! <laughs> And I could never actually talk to him. I was entertainment to him. Oh. Hmm. I can see how he would have felt like an object of entertainment in such a situation. 
No, I was entertainment. My father made me jump through hoops all my life. That is a powerful image, Jim, and a very good way of putting it. Define these hoops for me. Well, the older I got, the smaller and higher up they would be. Not only was he putting you through bizarre mind paradoxes, but he was also making the hoops actively difficult for you to jump through. Yeah, that's the point of the hoops. Tell me, did you share a room growing up? With wild animals. Were certain relatives or friends of your father often present? Yeah, there were always these clowns around the house. And I know she died tragically when you were young, but what can you tell me about your mother? She was a sword swallower. Mm. Now, looping back to the hoops you had to jump through, do you ever find there was a high point of a, or a peak of what your father was doing to you? Yeah, well, when I was 16, he started lighting them on fire. And what made you feel as if they were on fire? The flame. Okay, and, and why did he act in such a way? That year, another circus came to town. Another colorful metaphor, but I think I'm a little lost. What? Metaphor? No, I had to jump through flaming hoops when Hobo Chuck's sideshow came to town. What? Have you not been listening to me? I thought we were using metaphor to help process your emotions. Why would I make metaphors? That's your job! Oh. Great. Now we can get started. Thank you both for agreeing to this. I know these duo sessions can be hard, but I think it's important in a case like yours. And I'll ask, who the fuck are you? It's Andy. He's letting this whole golden voice thing go to his head. Wait. Oh my god. Andy, um, oh my god. Andy, pull yourself together, man. It's no use. I'm just a good-for-nothing twerp is all I am. Those judges are gonna laugh me out of the building. Nobody's gonna laugh at you. You just gotta focus. Why? So they can boo me off stage? I can hear the people laughing already. <laughs> Quit it! Sorry, 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 I was at a loss before. I was ready to completely give up on stealing all your shit. Oh, you were doing what? And then Andy taught me that you can't ever give up. And I think it's time we teach him the same lesson. You know, what's your name, kid? Rob. <laughs> I like your moxie. Now let's go out there and make a difference. What if I fail? I'd rather save the heartbreak. I'd rather dream of a future that could have been. Could have been, Andy, it can. It can, you just gotta take that first step. You are, you are strong and, and you are brave and you are talented and, and you can do this. I used to rule the world. Seas would rise when I gave the word. Now in the morning I sleep alone.
sweep the streets I used to own. <laughs> You want to come out now? You got this. All right? Wasn't that hard? The flight's in 20 minutes. We gotta go. Welcome to the Golden Voice, the only singing competition where the judges cannot see the contestants. And if more than one judge pushes their button, they enter the battle phase with all of the judges that have turned their chairs over. However, a judge is able to exit the battle phase at the cost of golden points. These are gained by not pushing your button in a round. The battle phase pits each judge that has pushed their button against each other. Winning a battle phase gains a judge one victory point. Victory points can be exchanged for prizes, whether it's an all-expense-paid trip to the beautiful beaches of Hawaii or a leg up against the competition. If a judge gains three victory points, they can exchange those points to take a member of one of any opposing judge's teams, provided they did not win the previous safety competition and put them on their team. Game day, baby! Let's fucking go! Hey! Yeah, you straight, dog? Uh, yeah, I'm straight. You straight? Huh? Last time I checked, yeah. Anyways, they're gonna be here soon. Let's get the show on the run. Uh. What's good? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not moving it. Bro? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just. I'm, I'm not fucking moving it. Are, are you serious? What, what are you What are you waffling about? What are you doing? I don't know, man. I like I like living here and shit, and like that's nice. But like, I, I fucking live here. Like I shouldn't have to move my car for a bunch of people I don't even know. You know? So you are serious? Come on, man! Fuck! Oh. A little too excited for game day, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Why is this little car out there? The game shot's in like two hours. Guys. Mortimer, why is your car still outside? Um, I don't want to move it. Neither here nor there, boy. You knew what you sacrificed when you signed the sacred and coveted lease. Forced villages and oceans away into it. Cars are to be banished from the slot upon game day. Did you just call me boy? <laughs> See what's going my brother in the arms. Have we not built this castle for mere dirt and soil? With dreams of what game day could be? What it has become? No, we haven't. We moved in last semester. Are you a fool? It matters not the place where we lay our mortal bodies to rest. The castle is bigger than that, it's more. It's about the way people feel when they enter our palace of inebriation. It's a feeling of unimaginable joy and day drinking. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's really beautiful type shit, yeah. So you agree? Yeah, yeah, man. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll move my car. Thank God. Yeah. Well, Agnes, I'm going to go get the speaker from my room. Oh, yeah, no. God knows what more I'm getting off. Nope. Not doing it anymore. Brother, Brother wait! My ox is fucking fire. I'll move it. <laughs>
I can't believe I had enough time to change on the plane. That was incredibly convenient for all of us. Uh, but I just, you know, I think you're gonna kill it, man. You got this. Don't even worry about a thing, all right? Oh, wish me luck, guys. You're up. Get out there. Good luck, man. You're gonna kill it. Woo! They're gonna fuck it up. It's gonna be bad. How did it go? Yeah, it killed it. Hey, guys. You ready to go home? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, I do man. have to tell you, though, I'm gonna have to change in the plane again. That's fine. You scared the shit out of me. I thought you were gonna come from You're that. fine. Let's just go. All right, yeah. Do you guys mind if I take a different cab home from the airport? That's chill. Rob, we're home. No, oh, we shouldn't have taken separate cabs. What were we thinking? Fuck! We trusted her! How could she do this? No. I forgive her. Why? Why? She stole all your jewels. Are you insane? Forget the jewels. She gave me something money could never buy. A dream. I guess it all works out in the end. I think you're right. And guess what? She probably needed the money more than I did. I don't even have a daughter. Fucking dumbasses. And they bought it too. Because if they didn't, they would have called the cops. They knew my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, boss, you're finally out of this life? Nah. I'm planning my next heist as we speak. I'm going to steal the Mona Lisa. But, boss, that's a big fish. And besides, boss, you already got all this fucking money. I know, but it's not about the money. About the craft. A little birdie taught me that. Yeah. <laughs> you have bad handwriting. Has anybody ever told you that? <laughs> okay, see, we. I wish I had a recording device with me. Oedipus. <laughs> Wait, do Oedip Oedipus question mark? You can't spell it. Right? Fuck! Fuck! We trusted her, dude, and she can fucking do this! Fuck, I'm sorry. Holy shit, his handwriting is actually terrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can we, can we, can we? That face. No treble. I'm all about that face. That should have been sauce. Okay, we need to clear the stairs. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. We need to clear the stairs.